Hey guys, this is just going to be a short video on just my gravity training destroyer uh, settings. Um, it's 1540 right now. Um, my spec is pretty high at 1774. I'm missing a little bit of spec on my neck and, of course, some of my accessories. Um, this is my bracelet. It's 93 spec, um, 88 swift, and I have exposed weakness. Ideally, this should be crit instead of swift, but I picked up this exposed weakness on this bracelet, so I just, I just kept it like this. Uh, here's the quality on my gear. Or sorry, my accessories, rather. This is my rock, which allows me, which allowed me to get some pretty cheap accessories. And here's the quality on my gear. Pretty high. I want to say pretty high, it's kind of high. Um, I got pretty lucky on this character. I have 100 quality weapon, which is why I'm probably doing a lot more damage than, you know, just like a standard alt. This is my engravings. This is just this is just pretty standard. Um, you could replace barricade with curse doll. I think they do about the same damage, but barricade you you almost always have your shield up when you do damage anyway, so it's like a why not thing. Here are my gems. This level 5 is on everything except um, hypergravity. You don't need the uh, cooldown gem on hypergravity, just the damage. And here are my tripods. So let's just go down from the very beginning. Also, just take a look at the runes. I'm not going to really mention it, but these are my runes. Mostly Gale Winds because you don't really need anything else. Um, so yeah. I want to comment that I usually, or I generally don't run taunt because I think that kind of griefs the gun lancer, but in guardian raids and whatnot, you might want to just run taunt. Um, but I don't think it's particularly necessary. It's kind of useful in Bro Shaza Gate 3 um, if there's no gun lancer. And finally, this is the most important tripod for me the gravity charge tripod. Um, if I don't have this tripod, my one rotate, my one DPS rotation doesn't actually fill up the uh, bar high enough for you to uh, go into gravity training mode. So uh, you need at least one gravity charge tripod on any one of your skills. It just turns out that Earthwave is not particularly is is the weakest of the four. So I put it, I put the gravity charge tripod on Earthwave, uh, and again with this is required or else you don't get your full bar in one rotation. Now, I only need one gravity charge tripod because I have very high spec. I think the threshold was something like 1750 or something like that. You might want to test it out and test it out in Trixian by yourself. But if your gravity training destroyer is something like under 1490 and you don't have the you don't have access to a bracelet, you're going to have to get another gravity charge tripod. And I used to put it on um, my full swing um, before I had a bracelet. But now that I have I have enough spec, I can finally add scary hammer instead. Okay? But yeah, if you don't have high spec, you're going to need an additional gravity charge. So two in total. And it doesn't actually cripple your damage that much because your main damage ability is your hyper gravity, your gravity training um, box skill rather than these skills. So I wouldn't feel too bad about having to add a second gravity charm. But yeah, that's it. Um, hope that helped. I'll add, I'll just go to Trixian real quick and just uh, do a rotation. So my rotation would go something like this. And then that's full. And I get to go to gravity training. 